Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting journey with Prism. I am Harsh and I am thrilled to have you here for another episode where we dive deep into the world of Prism. So far we have covered a lot of ground from building robust Prism application to its powerful feature like regions, modular architecture and commanding. And today we are going to learn about the dialogue service. Before we dive in, if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notification. By subscribing, you will stay updated on all the latest Prism tutorials. Without wasting time, let's get started. As you know, dialog is nothing but a UI or we can say view. So let's first create the view. Let's create the view first. I will add view inside the toolbar model views folder. Let's add it. I will click on add then click user can, or we can go to new item and search for user control. I will select user control WPF and I will set the name file dialog and click on add. As you know every dialog have some button and some text so here I will add two button. I will use stack panel here and then I will add two button control. And I will set the name. Here I will say OK. And for second button, I will set the content cancel. And here also I will add, I will bind the command. OK, command, not like this. I have to use binding. And I will also bind the command for cancel button. And I will say, Cancel. Okay. Now our UI is ready. And now I am going to add the view model for this dialog. Inside the view models folder, I will add the class and I will say file dialog view model. Click on add. Okay. I will make it public. And now I will add command. So I will copy the command here and I will rename that command. Inside the constructor, I will initialize this command as I have done here. And I will rename this command to OK command. And another one is cancel command. I don't want to do this thing. So I will remove this. Okay. And I will add the namespace for delegate command using prism dot commands. Here this is not required to use i command. I can use delegate command otherwise I have to add the namespace for i command as well. So I will use the delegate command here also. And I will replace this with this one. And I don't want any command parameter here so I will remove this. And for the can execute I will just return true means it will always execute this command and here I will say ok and here I will say cancel. Let's create this method this also. Now our view and view model are ready right. You may think it is similar to the normal UI right. There is no change in dialog right. Now our process will start how to make it dialog. So for make this view as dialog, first we have to implement the iDialog aware interface to our view model. And I will add the namespace for this iDialog aware. Let's see the reference. I will verify once this reference. I think some reference are missing. Okay, okay. So we have to use this, this one, not this thing. Okay. Because here inside that we have the prism code. We need prism code for dialog service. So I will click on add. 
then we can find the namespace for this one prism.services.dialogs now let's implement this interface something is missing here ok we can't use this we have to use this colon now let's implement this interface we will have to implement some method ok what are the method these are the method can close dialog on dialog close here I will return true I want to make it closable so that it can close ok if we want to do something on closing of this dialog we can do here if we want to get or do something on opening of that dialog we can do here ok now it is done for now I will keep it like this and now what we have to do as we implemented i dialog aware now we have to register view as dialog how to do that we have to go to this module I will collapse this and inside the module we have toolbar module and here I will register this view as custom dialog dot register dialog ok and here I have to pass the view and view model name I will say file dialog and then file dialog view model ok add the namespace for this now we have registered our dialog now we can use this file dialog as dialog ok now I want to show this dialog on click of the toolbar view model command which is open command inside this method I will call that dialog so here I will use the I dialog surface I dialog surface ok I will inject this dialog service to the constructor I will define one dialog service here and I will assign this dialog service to this injected dialog service ok equal to dialog service and now we will use this dialog service here inside the execute method dot so so and so dialog there are two different method so is for non modal dialog and so dialog is for modal dialog what is the difference between two we will see first I will use so dialog and here we have to pass the UI name what is our UI name this is what file dialog and I will pass this I will comment this and now let's run and see if we can see this as a dialog or not now I am going to click on open button ok we are getting this exception because we are throwing here let's update it here I will set the string dialog service ok now let's run enable it click on open you can see our UI is visible here and we have ok and cancel button it is nothing but our dialog if you see here we are able to click here, right now I will use show dialog here I will close all this thing here I will use show dialog let's run and see enable it click on open dialog is visible now we can't check and uncheck this one in modal dialog case we cannot use this parent window while dialog is visible if we close this one then we can use it but in case of non modal window we can use this main window also so this is how we can show the dialog we have different kind of method for show dialog we can pass the parameter like we want to pass something to this file dialog and we want to show that thing to that file dialog so I will add one text block and here I will bind the text and I will say message ok now we have to click one we have to create a property so for that we need bindable base so that it will notify the UI and update the UI I will inherit this bindable base now I will create one property called message ok 
and here I will call the set property method of bind table base class. Rep, then message, and then value. This is what we binded here. Now I want to pass some value to our file dialog. How to pass that? We have dialog parameter. New dialog parameter. And here I will pass parameter like this. I will say message equal to. I will pass this here. I will define one variable. Message equal to. This is dialog service. Okay. And I want to use this parameter here now here we have to pass one callback method we'll say the method result and then like this we can do okay and here we can access the result of our dialog now first let's use this message inside our dialog how to use that go to view model and insert this method on dialog open we can initialize our message we can say parameters dot get value and here i will pass this name which is this message and here we have to make it string now let's run and see click on open you can see we have this text this is dialog service ok and cancel we can pass the value from here right while calling this show dialog we can pass the value and we can access this inside the view model of dialog like this ok now what i want to do here i want to get the result of ok button or close button ok so here what i will do let's first stop this now here I will pass the command parameter here for all the button so that we can based on the command parameter we will return the result. Okay. Here I will say okay and here I will say cancel. Okay. Now here we have to update this command as string same for this. Okay. And then now we have to update this method definition also. Here I will say param and for cancel also we have to pass this ok now based on this param we will return the dialog result i will say if param equal to equal to ok then what i will do i will create the dialog result here equal to new dialog result dialog result and here i will pass button result dot ok and for the cancel same thing we will do this is for ok button so i will paste here and this is for cancel ok and then we will call the request close dot is this one this action request close dot invoke and here i will pass dialog result okay in the same way i will do for ok button as well i will change this dialog result as cancel now let's run and see we are getting the error what is the error okay here we have to pass the argument here also we have to update the command as well now let's run click on open you can see this is dialog service and we have ok now i will click on ok it's closed right because we are closing on click of ok button as well as cancel button right now what i want to do i want to get this value here also we want to check the result so let's see this if result dot result equal to equal to button result dot ok then i will show the message box ok button is clicked okay same way i will add for cancel button also i will copy this same thing to save the time cancel cancel now let's run and see click on open click on ok ok button is clicked right and the dialog is also closed now click on cancel cancel button is clicked right this is how you can get the result from the dialog and if you want to pass something from the dialog to this view model we can also do by using the parameter how to do that I want to send some value from here. Let's see. I will use dialog result dot parameters dot add. Here I will say key as dialog name and value as file dialog. Okay. Now how we have accessed here in the same way we can access this head as well. So here in case of OK, I have added the parameter so I can access this in case of OK only. So here I will access this thing where dialog name and assign this using result dot parameters and get the value what was the name of the key key name was dialog name okay let's copy it and paste it here and i will show this 
file dialog ok button is clicked now let's run and see now i will click on ok button the dialog name ok button is clicked but we are not getting the value here why we are not getting let's see what was the value it was file dialog it should return file dialog right but it is returning dialog name itself okay here we have to pass the variable value not the variable only now if we run then it will show the dialog name let's see click on open click on ok ok button is clicked means that name is not coming why it is not coming debug it i will add the breakpoint here click on ok now let's see the parameter don't have anything here okay what is the issue here okay we are not getting parameters here let's see in the dialog window how we have added okay we have added in the cancel button i will add it in ok button okay then it will come now i will click on open and click on ok now we can see parameter dialog name and now let's see you can see file dialog ok button is clicked right this is how we can pass the value from dialog to our view model or we can pass the value from view model to our dialog right i hope you understand how to use the dialog service of the prism if you found this video helpful let's share with your friends